Hello and welcome to Moonshot Studios. I am Ben and today we are taking another look at Starship Simulator. Uh, this new uh, space sim that currently has a working tech demo available for free on Steam. And they are, I believe, 10 days into their Kickstarter and they have smashed their original goal. Um, so if we take a look, uh, here is their Kickstarter. Their original goal was $82,000. Uh, they've raised $265,000. Let's see if that's gone up since I reloaded the page. No, okay, so I think this is a live number. So just to keep in mind, that is 210,000 uh, British pounds because this is a, um, they're out of Somerset, United Kingdom. Um, and so I'm pretty excited because not only did it make its goal, but it actually surpassed its first stretch goal, which is listed way down here. So they passed their first stretch goal, which is add native room scale VR support. Um, but what I'm really excited about is um, that I can copy this, drag this image around apparently. Uh, what I'm excited about is um, the add shuttles and alien structures and then add planetary landings. We are 10,000 pounds away, or about $15,000, I think, from um, adding these shuttles and alien structures. So that's going to be exciting. And we are, what, uh, let's see, there's about 90,000 pounds away from planetary landing. So I really hope it hits these two stretch goals by the end of um, by the end of their campaign. I believe they have 19 days to go. So um, and just you know for full disclosure, I ha I am a backer on this, um, and so I have a little bit of skin in this game. Uh, I would you know love to see my money um, go into a successful product, but either way, I'm I'm actually really happy to give these people some money because uh, they seem to be doing a really cool um, job here. I've, I've gone around and I know how to fly the ship around and stuff, but what I want to see is, and what I want to show is just how cool this one-to-one -one recreation of the Milky Way galaxy is along with um, the fact that there's no load zones. The entire galaxy can be traveled to without any load zones and it's all there so i have gone on to the discord for um starship simulator which i believe is open to everybody and i found somebody had posted coordinates galactic coordinates to a black hole that's relatively close to earth it's over here um beyond this nebula you see up here so uh, in this video, we're going to go travel to that black hole and take a look at it. So, because the black hole is more than 50 light years away, we can't use our local sensors to find it, because uh, it's just too far away. So, what we have to do is we have to manually punch in these sensors, uh, or punch in the, um, the target coordinates. So, for that, I hit clear target. For our first number, we'll clear that and we'll hit negative... Uh, two five. I kind of wish we could do this with the numpad. Um, six five nine. So this is one galactic coordinate. So we'll hit enter, uh, and so that shows that we're two hundred and three light years away. Um, if we just did that, but then we've also got to do these two. So we got forty six. Enter, and then uh, forty four. Uh, enter and so that it's 191 light years away um, which is fairly close for a black hole <laughs> so um, I don't know if it's based on an actual black hole but anyway so you see the target has come up it says manual target because we didn't select it with the nav computer uh, we could put in these locals uh, which I think I will because we don't want to get too close to this thing uh, at first so I'm going to put we're gonna give it a 20,000 uh, kilometer um, or a two, uh, 20 megameter um, distance. 
that we're going to stop at, and I'll just leave the others to zero, zero. Um, so that's in, so then we'll hit engage. And so that'll line us up with the target. And then we'll engage our FTL. And that should go all the way up to 100% power, 100 um, field power. And we can see our nice little warp tunnel going on. And so we can see here the ETA is dropping like a stone as we speed up to our 2.5 million times the speed of light um, uh, speed that we're going at. So now we're at two and a half times the speed of light, uh, which is what the velocity numbers mean here. Uh, C is the speed of light, or 300,000 uh, kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second. Um, so there we go. This is going to take 40 minutes. <laughs> and this is a relatively close. You know, remember the Milky Way is almost, uh, is about 50 to 60,000 light years across. Um, we're about 25,000 light years from the middle. So 200 light years really isn't, really isn't that far um, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and apparently you can actually travel outside. Like you could just point this to the outer edge of the galaxy and just hit go. And you just go on forever from what I understand. Anyway, over time, you'll see this um, nebula get bigger and bigger. <clears throat> I'm actually not sure what nebula that is. I'll have to look it up. But um, we'll also be able to see the parallax of other stars passing as we pass by, which I think is one of the coolest things. Uh, at this point, <laughs> you know, I just kind of wonder, like, what, you know, if, if, uh, if I weren't going to this particular black hole, but, like, let's say it was more like the show where I just thought, point me in a direction and let's go. It would be cool to just kind of, you know, like, oh, this star is only nine light years away. We'll we'll hop over to that star real quick, or, you know, we'll we'll disengage the autopilot and um, go to some of these locations that we see just sort of on our way. Um, but we also run into problems. We also, in the future, might run into problems because there will be alien races, I guess, that you can encounter. Some of them hostile. So. I mean, what if we encountered, like, the Klingons, or even worse, the Dominion? Uh, and speaking of the Dominion, uh, while we're waiting for this to do its thing, maybe I can just play a little bit of Dominion. This is a card game that I really like. It's free on Steam. Um, the digital version, the actual real card version, is not free. Um, yeah, I know that's a, probably a surprise. But anyway, so I'm just going to play this until we get to our, um, get to where we're going. So you can see that nebula has gotten a little bit bigger, um, and it's going to get mighty big in that window um, by the time we're there. We are only a couple of minutes away, and you see what I mean about that nebula getting bigger. And what's nice is it's it's an object, like it's it's there. It's a volumetric object, so you can kind of see it moving, um, which is pretty sweet. So we're kind of flying through it. Are we there yet? Where are we anyway? We're almost there. We're starting to slow down. We've been traveling for 40 minutes. <laughs> we are almost there. Imminent.
So hopefully 20,000 kilometers is far enough not to get trapped. Okay, so it just put us at 946,000 kilometers. I'm not really sure why. Um, but that's okay. Speed up just a little bit. Disengage. There we are. There is a black hole that looks a little bit like Gargantua from, uh, from Interstellar. And uh, you can see the accretion disk that's flying around it, and it's not actually going above the black hole, it's actually going around to the back side, but um, because the gravity is so intense, it's actually bending the light and making it appear. So we're looking at what we perceive to be the front and the top at the same time um, of this black hole, and the bottom down, you know, but from every side at the same time. Um, which is crazy. Yeah, so freaking cool. Yeah, it is. It's, um, they did a really good job with this. And of course, like I said before, the, the, um, nebula here is volumetric. So, you know, we're, we're actually in it, uh, which is pretty sweet. And so, yeah, this is a pretty exciting element of the game. I really, really like it. Uh, yeah. So, let's see. So that's that. That is this black hole, which I think is the closest one to Earth that they've discovered, and I had to find that on their Discord. Um, the other place I want to go to is... Well, there's a few places. I want to go to Sagittarius A, which is the black hole in the center of the galaxy. Uh, and I also want to go to Betelgeuse, which is a star in the o Orion constellation. Um, but that's 13,000 light years away. This was 200 light years away, and it took 40 minutes. Betelgeuse is 13,000 light years away, so it's going to take a little while. And, uh, I'm sorry, not 13,000, 1,300. It's still going to take a while. And then um, Sagittarius A is 25,000 light years away. So I'd, I already put that into the computer. The coordinates are really easy to remember. They're just 0, 0, 0. Um, and that would take three days to get there. So um, let's look and see what's in our galactic neighborhood here. Uh, so we'll put uh, stellar region, everything within 10 light years. Uh, da, 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 da. This actually does say black hole on it, which is cool. Um, three days. Yeah, it would take three days in real life in the game. So, <laughs> real life in the game. It would take... I'd have to leave the computer on for three days. Um, and let it just fly towards the center of the galaxy to get there. And that's not even, that's the center of the galaxy. That's not all the way to the other side. Look at that. This isn't Earth, but it is kind of interesting that there is a terrestrial, um, this is green, so I wonder if it's an Earth-like. So we'll send that to Helm. <clears throat> do our 
we'll just head over to this other star. Bye, black hole. We'll always miss you. Look at that. Looks like a water world. All right, we can slow down, right? Let's... I think eventually they're going to be putting in like an orbital orbit mechanic like this, orbital positioning. So it'll just automatically orbit the planet, which would be cool. All right, well, I think what I'm gonna do, so we'll disengage that. I think I'm just going to slowly make my way towards Sagittarius A. I mean, I know I just said it's going to take three days, but, um, <clears throat> you know, we can stop at places along the way and just see what, see what we find. We are explorers after all, right? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll clear target and, uh, clear target and then engage. So this should be aiming us towards the center of the galaxy. I don't know why it says terrestrial planet. <laughs> All right, so we'll head towards the center of the galaxy. Right, so once this gets going top speed, I figure as long as we're always heading towards the same coordinates, we can, you know, go off track and go do other stuff and then, you know, continue to head that way. We just generally head towards the center of the galaxy. That'd be kind of fun. So, yeah, three, but almost four days, 3.75 days. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. We are at 211,000 pounds out of 220,000. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get our shuttles and, um, uh, what, what, what was the, uh, yeah, shuttles and alien structures. I'm pretty sure we're going to get that. I'm hopeful that we'll get the planetary landings, um, it's looking pretty good. We still have just over two weeks, almost three weeks left. So, um, I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Uh, thanks again for joining me. Thank you, TARDIS Chaser. Uh, and, um, oh, good. Oh, it looks like my emoticon, my, that emoticon has been approved. I was waiting for Twitch to approve it. Anyway, thank you for using that. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and as always, fly dangerously, and uh, 07, enjoy your Easter, or if you don't celebrate, enjoy your Sunday, and I will see you next time. <laughs>